Welcome back to a day in my life working in biotech. Today, I'll be answering some frequently asked questions, sharing my day to day, as well as discussing my personal framework for career exploration. Good morning. If you've been following me for a while, you know I like to get straight into my videos. So first thing I wanted to discuss was if you're considering a job within the biotech industry, should you go to a startup versus a larger established pharma company? First consideration I would say is a lot of large pharma companies are currently mandating hybrid slash in-person work schedules. So if you want to work remotely, I would say your best bet is to go to some sort of startup. Companies like Amgen, Genentech, AstraZeneca will have some sort of policy that requires you to go in at least three days a week. If you are planning on going the startup route, you might learn more skills that are outside of your specific job requirements. And personally, that's why I decided to go the startup route as well. how pretty my coffee is. Ah! I don't know what's going on with the baby hair situation. Let's get started. Ta -da! This is my work from home setup. You guys already know I do a lot of stuff in Salesforce. What I'm really trying to avoid right now in my career is becoming one trick pony. I'm in the process of learning HubSpot as well. I'm also currently thinking about additional Salesforce certificates. So I already have the administrator one. I think I'm either considering the business analyst or the advanced administrator. Just got some PR from M Cosmetics, and apparently today is National Cat Day. So I have no idea. This is so cute. It came with a little neck pillow, as well as two blushes. These are called the Pillow Plush Blush. It comes in two colors. There's peanut and gold. So I'm excited to give these a try. Noshinko sent me some of these really cute refillable hand sanitizers, and I think they're so great because a lot of the times we just use it and once all the alcohol is gone, but these are refillable, so eco-friendly, super cute, comes in a bunch of different colors, so thank you so much. I know I've been MIA recently, but our company just had a Squid Game style round of layoffs, so for the past few weeks, I was feeling quite anxious. Job market's a bit tricky at the moment, with many companies having hiring freezes, but luckily I made the cut for now. If you like peaches and you like cheese, I highly recommend eating burrata with peaches and honey. It's so good. A lot of you guys have reached out and one of the most common questions I get is what's a good biotech job for me? And to that, I would say work backwards. Write down a list of your non-negotiables, and if you don't know where to start, here's some guiding questions. Do you want to work remotely? Startups are more likely to have a flexible remote working arrangement. Do you want to work in a lab? If so, research is the way to go, and you might want to consider a graduate degree. Do you want to travel? Sales and business development positions are really great to travel to conferences and expand your network. Are there any skills you want to learn? For example, I self-learned Salesforce for the certificate exam. Don't be afraid to self-learn things you're interested in. We all have a variety of interests that can't possibly be boxed by one position. The right doors will open if you are diligent and always willing to learn. Mm. Weather is horrible. Good morning. Another day, another coffee, am I right? In the mornings, normally I have a lot of meetings because the rest of my team is located on the East Coast. Kind of boring, but lots of meetings, gathering user requirements, I'm writing out all the changes that people want to see in Salesforce, and then I need to go and run them by my manager in the afternoon. Also, I don't know what type of content to make sometimes because I feel like my channel is either food or lifestyle and career, so if you guys have any suggestions for what types of videos you want to see next, leave it in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Also, it does get a little bit disheartening sometimes when I put a lot of effort, and then I think on one of my videos, actually, where I um, kind of took you guys through a day in the life, Someone called me selfish for talking about my experience working in tech sales. So half of me was like, do you want to be nice and kind of just ignore it? But then the other half of me was like, well, what do you expect? You know, I'm talking about my personal experience working. Um, so it's, it's kind of hard to gauge what people are looking for in my content. So I'd love it if you could provide some guidance for me. Thank you. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. 
just made myself a really quick lunch. My go-to easy quick lunch has to have steamed egg. And then I'm also having some leftover japchae that I made the other day. I also put some tofu in there for extra protein. So I work from home 100% of the time and on days it gets stuffy, I like to switch up my work environment, but ultimately I love the freedom that comes with my working arrangement. If I wanted to, I could literally hop on a plane and work from South Korea tomorrow. I think this is the first time in my life where I actually experienced true freedom. But with that being said, this is just a friendly reminder that we don't live to work. There is so much more to life than just our jobs. So go outside, go explore your hobbies, don't obsess over finding the perfect job. Personally, this past year has been the year of acceptance. I can't be too greedy and always expect things to go my way. And as we grow, I think it's inevitable that certain things don't serve the new versions of ourselves. And as painful it may be to say goodbye, there will always be new adventures waiting for us. Thank you for watching.